<laughs> hey guys, it's Margaret, and today I'm bringing you my weekly sales update. I only had like eight or nine sales, which is, it's not a lot, but I had some really high ticket items sell, so my numbers are really good. As you guys probably know, I've talked about it a lot lately, I have been really focusing on my merch by Amazon a shirt design account because it has been very, very lucrative. So I will also talk about my merch numbers and just kind of give you a feel for where all of my profit is coming from this month. So when you see these numbers, you're like, huh, oh, that's kind of crappy. Well, actually it's not because when I first started selling on eBay and Etsy, uh, my goal was $200 a week because I was doing this just, you know, my stay-at-home mom extra money, you know, 200 bucks a week. And then the next, the following year it was 250 And then, so now I'm like, okay, I'm still making that goal, but I'm starting to get some alternatives, which has really been nice. So I don't know, I'm happy. I just found out my husband was getting a bonus today too. So it's like money, you know, it's a good day. <laughs> and, it's, and it's my son's birthday, which is also a happy, happy occasion. <laughs> my son turned nine today, so yeah, that's also something. There you go. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm going to talk about my numbers on Etsy and eBay. So these hematite um, and etched uh, initial cufflinks sold. I picked them up for a buck fifty, and they sold for fifty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. So after shipping and everything, my net was forty-nine forty-seven. Very nice. Next up was this Daisy Kingdom panel. So it wasn't finished, you know, it still had edges. And then they did send me a, a question asking if it was finished because, I don't know, they wanted to hang it on the wall. And I said, no, it's not, but it, it didn't look like it'd be too hard to, to finish off. So I believe I paid a buck ninety nine for this at the Goodwill. I may, if I got it at the charity shop, it would have been closer to twenty five fifty cents. but I went ahead and put the larger number in just because. So sold for $16.99 and that net me $14.73. And then this thimble sold. Um, this was in my grandmother's collection. It was painted, um, I think by a friend of hers. So it's got a signature somewhere, I think, maybe not. Um, so this thimble cost me nothing. It sold for $14.99. And after shipping and fees, my net was $14.37. Then uh, this Morton Salt Girl mug sold, and I picked it up for 50 cents, sold for $11.99, and net me $10.08. This is why I'm like, when I keep picking up mugs, I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Oh, yeah, because I can make 10 bucks off this mug, you know? Easy peasy, right? And then this Scotland mug, I went back and forth. At first, I thought it was one of my grandmothers, but I think I picked this up somewhere. Um, so I went ahead and put 50 cents because I think I got it at my ch local charity shop. Um, so it sold for $16.99 and then it's, oh, this was when I, I had free shipping on some things a while back and I forgot, to, well, I didn't forget, I just didn't take it off some of the stuff. So my net there was $8.94, so eh, oh well. Okie dokie. So now for my eBay sales, I sold this Sunset, now I know my ABCs. Um, like a cross stitch kit. So I picked it up for a buck. It sold for $22.39 and that net me $18.10. Yeah, I pick these up all the time. Uh, and you know, some of them are not worth as much or some of them sit longer, but it doesn't bother me because they don't take up a ton of space and they can generally bring a nice profit. So 18 bucks profit's pretty good. And then a tie sold. I've been selling a few ties lately. I don't even pick them up anymore. These are from a while back. Uh, this was a Museum of Fine Arts Boston mug with the, uh, it's like the doctor symbol, you know. I uh, picked it up for a buck ninety nine, and I took a best offer of $20 because like I say, I've had it for a while and I ties haven't been selling that great for me lately. So uh, yeah, so it, it, my profit there was $14.94. And then this Dragon Ball Z stuffed animal sold. I picked him up for a buck ninety nine as well. So he sold for ten thirty nine, and here's he, my profit was six six six. Cat. <laughs> they keep getting on the counter. They don't learn. 
anyway, I digress. <laughs> okay, so yeah, my my net there was six dollars and sixty six cents. Then this sold last night. Um, this is an Edwardian velvet, and this was handmade dress. Um, that and again, I don't pick up a lot of clothes, so this I picked up. It's been about a year ago. But I put a big number on it. It was on sale. I bought it for seven bucks because clothes were half off that day at this particular thrift store. And it may have been less, honestly, but I think it was about seven dollars that I paid for it. Um, so $93.19 was this what, what it sold for. And after shipping and everything, it's uh, my net was $75.09. And I don't own this mannequin. This is <laughs> this is the thrift store mannequin. It was on the mannequin in the thrift store, and I was like, I'm buying this. I'm going to take these pictures now while it's on the mannequin. Because at the time, I don't even think I had a hanging mannequin. So I did. I just took a bunch of pictures while I was there. Then I took it off the mannequin and bought it. <laughs> Pardon. Let me turn that off. Okay, so let me talk with you. Oh, oh my, my total numbers. Let me pull that up here. So my sales on eBay and Etsy totaled two hundred twelve dollars and thirty eight cents for the week not too bad uh, so my merch sales hold on to your hats peoples and you might hear me talk about it again another day uh, so here are my november numbers i do i keep track like so each day i put this is my number of shirts sold this is the profit for the day and then it tallies at the end i just i like to see it so this is you know the dates for november so in november i sold 173 shirts for a profit of $1,001.31. So that's why <laughs> I'm focusing a lot on merch lately and I keep harping on it to people like, you've got to sign up. I know there's a waiting list. I know you're waiting as soon as you, you know, sign up because that's my one month. And then plus my 200 from eBay and Etsy. And then, you know, whatever little I get from YouTube. And then I have $15 that sold on Teespring. So it's just like these little, bits keep coming in so my like right now because I know it's the fourth quarter so in December already we've been four days in today's the fifth um but already this month I've sold 42 shirts for a, so far profit of 216 dollars so not too bad you know uh, these are my I'll show you these are my numbers for each month I just plug them in because I like to see this this way I can see if I'm ready to tear up to the next level. I mean it started off slow, seven bucks, fifty-two, twenty-three, forty-eight, and then it slowly started gathering some steam, six hundred, six hundred, a thousand. So and again, I don't share these numbers to be show offy, but because I'm I know I keep telling everybody, sign up, sign up, get in, get in, get in. Um, because I am not a designer. And many of my top selling selling shirts are text based. They're just like words. You know, so if I can do it, I promise you can do it. And I don't use any fancy programs. My husband's trying to teach me, but it, it isn't happening yet. So it's not clicking in my brain. So those are my sales. And I'm trying to decide. I guess I can, well, I'll, I'll wait till tomorrow. I might give away because I've, I've gone over 7,000 subscribers, you guys. And I thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I, I am excited to have come this far. I mean, it's in February, it will be two years. So, you know, what a journey. And I have a giveaway that I'm going to be doing. And I'll probably talk about it tomorrow because I'll do a live. I have a little haul and I'll do a live, um, you know, hey, everybody. And here's the, I'm giving away this bag. I went and handpicked some jewelry out of my jewelry stuff um, to do a giveaway. So tune in tomorrow. You don't have to be live to win, but I'll probably only have the giveaway open for like a day, maybe two, because the last giveaway I did, I had it open for about a week. I said, oh, I'm going to leave it open for a week. And I had like a hundred and something entries. <laughs> so I am going to keep it short and sweet on this one because I do that, you know, I have to enter any, everybody's name in manually to the random name picker. So that took a long time. <laughs> Not that I don't enjoy it. <laughs> But yeah, I, yeah, that's what happened. So tomorrow I'll do a bit of a live video. I, I guess I'm going to go live twice tomorrow. Oh, geez. I didn't think about this, but uh, Joe Clay and I and Jeff Davidson are going to talk about merch tomorrow. 
And not as many people generally watch those, so I don't feel too bad going live again. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so I have a bit, a bit of a haul because I need more stuff for crying out loud. Um, and I'm going to announce the giveaway officially. So yes, that's, that's that. And thank you, thank you so much uh, for all the support over the last year, almost two years. And stay tuned tomorrow for the, the two videos. <laughs> I'm warning you in advance. <laughs> all right, thank you, thank you so much everybody. And if you would, hit that like button down below and tell me down in the comments section how your sales have been and if you have signed up or been accepted to merch. I am hoping, I just want everyone to be happy and profitable, you know? This is my hope for the reseller community. You know, this is, it's a good thing. I'll just say that, it's a good thing. All right, thanks so much everybody and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Mm -hmm.